hope you guys are having fun painting Starry Night with me. So far we have the cypress tree done. We have the moon finished. What we're going to do now is we're going to work on this hill right here. That's your dark blue hill as well as the space around the sun. So I'm going to use my small round brush and I'm going to start with the space around the sun. In Van Gogh's Starry Night, it's a very light yellow. So I'm going to take yellow and I, when I mix my paints, I like to do it like this. I, I grab some paint and then I kind of roll the paint off so that I have a large area of paint. And then I, when I grab my second color, I take it from the side. Oh, my paint's dry. Look at that. I take it from the side to add in. There we go. And then I'll mix that in until I get a nice light yellow consistency. I don't like to pull from the middle of the paint because then it kind of disturbs all the color and you get yellow through everything. So I just like to pull from a corner of it. So let me mix that up. You guys go ahead and mix up your light yellow. I love that light yellow color. And just like we did when we painted our cypress tree and our moon, we are going to use small little brush strokes. So I'm going to take my brush that I just mixed with. I'm going to wipe all that extra paint off because I don't want it to have a lot on there. And I'm going to simply take this yellow and make small little lines going all around it. Now, if you are a type A person, you know, I'm going to call you guys out a lot, probably because I'm like the furthest thing from that. But if you're a type A person, you have to make sure that all of your marks are not the same length. You don't want it to be a quarter inch line space, quarter inch line space. You really want your colors to kind of blend and be slightly unexpected. As you're doing this, if you want to grab some plain white and put it in there, you can. Remember, leave it kind of chunky. Van Gogh is known for having very thick, paint strokes. Feel free to take it all the way out into that blue space around your sun, I mean your moon. We're going to be pulling some blue into there when we do our sky. As you're doing this, you're just going to kind of keep covering up that original yellow space you put in there. If you want to add some more dark yellow in, you can. If you want to even grab a tiny bit of red and put it in there, it's really going to change the whole area and the look of it by adding some of those other colors in there. I love the way my moon is looking, so I'm going to take a break from my moon for a minute. I'm going to look down here at this dark blue area, and for this one, I'm going to go back and get my flat brush. This is the brush we started with. I'm going to get my flat brush, and we are going to add some dark and some light areas in our hill. So I'm going to use dark blue to start, and I'm going to start to just form my hill and make it slightly neater. To do that, I'm going to make curved lines just like this. I'm going to add a little bit of white to these so you guys can see them a little bit better. Just a little bit. There we go. Fill in just this top space up here with some nice curved lines. Oops, I grabbed a little bit of yellow in there, but I'm okay with that. The next area right here, I'm going to add quite a bit of yellow to I want to give it some change in the, the shade of the color. So this area right here, I'm going to make significantly brighter and I'm going to use the edge of my brush just like this to make some curved lines down. Curved 
of those lines down. If you need to pause this, please feel free to pause it. it kind of looks like a waterfall in there now. One more. Now from here over to my tree, I'm actually gonna follow the curves of my hill. So I'm gonna grab my blue and my yellow. I lied, it's my blue and my white. And I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go along this edge and stop. I'm gonna grab some more blue and some more white, go along this edge here and stop. Start here, go along that edge and stop. Now my lines in the middle are gonna to start to touch because I've got much more space here than I have here, and that's okay. Clean up that edge right there a little bit along my cypress tree. Now that I have that hill done, I'm actually going to take that small brown brush with a little bit of dark on it and I'm going to add some detail lines in here. These do not have to be nice and neat. You just want to have some lines that are showing the movement in that hill. Make sure that those lines go all the way from your cypress tree up. Don't want to leave any spaces in the middle. There we go. Look at that. That's great. Now this back space over here, we're going to do the exact same thing we did here. We're going to go from left to right. We're going to fill that space in. We are then going to take our small brush with a little bit of dark paint. We're going to add some detail lines in there. These are just skinny little lines. They can pretty much, they can go wavy or straight, but you want them to go left to right. You're trying to get some of that really thick paint on there that Van Gogh is known for while creating a little bit of texture. So I'm going to look at this before we end this section of the video. I'm sure you're probably going to have to stop and finish up these areas. I'm going to clean up this line right here just a little bit. Make sure it's nice and neat. I'm going to add a little bit of white lines to it. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then just like we've done every other place, we're going to take our brush and we're going to make brush strokes. So in these four areas we just did, we're going to take another color. So maybe in this one I'm going to add a little bit of purple. And I'm going to make all of these little brush strokes. So they're very iconic of what you would see in Van Gogh's works of art. Lots of itty bitty little brush strokes. After I do that area, I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm going to do this one right here. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use purple again. Just adding a little bit, a little bit in. You don't need a lot to give it a good effect. Now, I would not start judging your artwork until it's all the way finished. Because as of right now, this looks like a hot mess express. I know that. But it's all about when it comes together. When we get that sky put in there, everything changes. Maybe you really like green and you want to add a little bit more green in. Go for it. Add some more green in. All these little lines are going to give you some texture in your paint. Give you that look of Van Gogh. Our next part, part four, is going to be where we work on our city. 
going to work on this whole bottom space and the grand finale will be your sky.